Hey girlfriends, I'm Bianca Renee, and you're watching Bianca Renee today. And today we're gonna be doing a side-by-side -side versus comparison between the two We Dad gels that claim to fight against humidity. If you guys saw my last video, I did a whole video on how to fight frizz and humid weather, and some of y'all are gonna start fist fighting with humidity. Today's video is sponsored by Sally Beauty, so if you like my results, that's where you're gonna get these babies. And I actually asked you guys on Instagram, like, what are your best humidity fighting gels for humid weather? And the new Advanced Climate Control Heat and Humidity Gel Stronger Hold was one of the top answers that you guys told me that you love. So I'm taking your word for it, and I'm gonna try it out today and do a comparison with their original heat and humidity gel. So on this side, I'm gonna try the Weedad Advanced Climate Control Anti-Frizz Nanotechnology Heat and Humidity Gel to define curls, lock out humidity, and it says it's good for all curl types. This is an 8.5 fluid ounce bottle versus the Weedad Advanced Climate Control Anti-Frizz Nanotechnology Heat and humidity gel defines curls, locks out humidity, stronger hold. Now, <laughs> you guys know me. I'm sure you can guess which one I'm already like leaning towards. You know I love strong hold. So um, let's do this. Starting off on damp hair, I rinsed out all of my conditioner and I actually did not put a leave-in conditioner because I want to do a true test and see how well this does all on its own. I've also heard many of you say that this gel is very moisturizing, which is usually not a word that's associated with gels because that's not really where we get our moisture. First impression, it has great slip and it does feel moisturizing. It doesn't feel too heavy. It doesn't feel sticky or like, I don't know. It's very, let me show you, like watery, runny consistency with great slip. Look at that shine already. This, these are all good things, people. It's looking really good. It smells really good, too. It kind of has like that expensive salon smell. Oh yeah, definitely bougie salon vibes. And I'm gonna raise it off my roots, even though it's kind of hard to get volume on a side-by-side -side middle part comparison video, but we're gonna do our best. As you can see, I'm not really big on sections. I just, do two sections <laughs> and then I'm gonna squeeze it back up there still is some water in there but I want to see how well how well of a cast this one has now on the side let's get the stronger hold so I took a peek at the ingredients and if you watched my last video all about humidity we learned about polyquats and polymers Looking at this, I was kind of surprised to see that glycerin was the second ingredient after water, but the third ingredient is polyquaternarium 11. We have another P, we have one PVP cross polymer, polyquaternarium 59, polyquaternarium 10, uh, PEG 60, polyquaternarium 7. Yeah, we have like six anti humidity ingredients all up in this bottle, so they were really. They were serious about really keeping that uh, humidity out because they put all the fighters in the bottle. Now this one looks a little bit thicker, but not much, but it is a little bit thicker than the original. Let's smooth it in. Also has great slip. I like the smell too. If I had to choose, hmm, I might like this scent better. It's not floral, it's not sweet. It just smells like fancy salon. All right, smoothing it in, scrunching it back up for definition. Right out the gate, I feel confident in how this is going to end because of just how it looks. Like, the fact that this is already a thing, that already looks beautiful. It doesn't feel heavy at all. I have very fine hair, it's not weighing it down. I'm just really curious to see how the cast does. Uh, more as a side-by-side. -side. I've actually been wearing this one all this week because I really wanted to see how it did. A few of you wrote me on Instagram and even noticed how shiny my hair was when I was like in the drive-thru at Sonic. This is what was in my hair in case you guys remember. Um, but I've, I've really liked it so far, but I really want to see how it does compared to this one. So let's let this 
air dry a little bit. If you live in a humid area, I would not recommend just going outside while your hair is wet because <laughs> it's just not gonna end well. You wanna go outside when your hair has built that cast, a little bit stiff, a little bit of hardness because the humidity will break that down over time. So don't be afraid of the crunch. Let it get as hard as possible and then you're ready to go out. So I'm gonna come back in a little bit, let the cast form and we'll see how it looks. And I'm back, and boy, do we have a comparison. You could definitely see a difference. This side has less hold. It's the less stronger one, meaning it's a little bit more fluffy, but therefore giving me more volume because of the less hold. Now this side has more hold, but look how shiny. Like both sides are really shiny, but this one is like, glistening and it's also clumping my curls together and that's not even me using a brush or anything so i'm just gonna lightly separate these curls here's the interesting part for this being called stronger hold there's not really a crunch like there is like a hold but it's it's it feels like a soft hold and it's really not stiff, crunchy. It's not flaking. When I used it all last week, I was also very surprised that there was no flaking or buildup with all those like polyquats in here. So that part is very impressive. Now, because I did a split test, anytime I do a middle part, it makes my top pretty flat. So I'm gonna kind of zhuzh it out, give it some more volume. And it's still a little bit damp. So when you guys said that this is a moisturizing gel, you are not lying. My curls feel super moisturized, super hydrated, and I'm glad that I didn't use a leave-in on my fine hair. Like this is, this is fine all on its own. I do not need any more moisture. Like it feels great. I did read a lot of reviews and some of you said that if you have thicker hair or high porosity hair, you might want to layer, so maybe use a cream or a leave-in first and then top it off with your gel. But if you have fine hair, <laughs> these work great on their own. So now I'm just going to diffuse it just a little bit to get some more volume and dry that last bit of wetness that's still there. And voila, now my hair is completely dry. So let's examine the results. Just by looking at it, I feel like I want to say that this side looks better, which is the original advanced climate control but like if i go in here it's not as defined as this side but this is always like the deal between soft hold and strong hold is that the softer the hold the better the volume and the fluffiness of it but with more fluff comes a little bit more frizz which is okay because that's how you create volume versus this side which seems like more defined and like shinier interesting i feel like this gel is exactly what so many of you want this is the answer to many of your questions because you always tell me that you don't like your curls to feel hard and crunchy or stiff but you want your hair to not be frizzy because this product has all the humidity fighting ingredients in it i believe that this is actually going to fight humidity without the crunch the best of both worlds that must be that anti-frizz nanotechnology like products always said they have some type of new technology and you're like what does that really mean but this actually might be onto something because they knew that we want our curls to feel soft and touchable ideally but we don't want the frizz and i think that's what that nanotechnology is for Maybe that's why they call themselves the curl experts. Let me just pick it out a little bit. Add some extra volume. And voila. Wow. It looks really good. I can see why you guys like this. The only other thing I wanted to mention is that when I did try the Stronger Hold all week long, one thing that I found very interesting was that when I refreshed, I didn't have to apply more product. As some of you know, I usually spray more water every day, then I apply a little bit more of the product I used before, like a gel or a mousse, something like that. But when I sprayed water on my hair, it kind of just reactivated this product and it felt nice and like 
smooth, it had great slip again, my hair did not feel tangled at all, and it kind of just reactivated that shine to where it went to dried, it looked great. I didn't have to apply anymore, like maybe if I did, I'd use a little bit just because I'm just used to it, but I probably didn't have to. But a little of this stuff goes a long way. And I think I wore it to like day five, just refreshing with water. That's pretty impressive. So in conclusion, the Stronger Hold Gel actually feels like a soft hold, but gives you all the benefits of a strong hold. Wow. So basically it's like soft hold vibes with strong hold tendencies. So overall, both sides look great. Pretty similar. I would say this side has more shine definition. This side's giving me more volume. Let me know which one you prefer. If you've tried these and you're someone that told me that you love this, please let me know like where you live, Florida, Texas, how humid it is, especially if you're someone that agrees that this does fight frizz in humid weather, even without a super hard, stiff, crunchy feeling. But remember that this one has like seven polyquats in here and this one has like two. So the ingredients in the Stronger Hold definitely have more of those anti-humidity fighting ingredients. So depending on where you live, if you live in a super humid area, go with the red one. If you don't live in a very humid area, then you might like this one better. Let me know your thoughts below. These two products are new to Sally Beauty, so if you needed another reason to shop there, now you can get your Weed Ad Gel. I'll put a link in the description box so you guys could check them out. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I post new videos every week. You also can follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter at Ms. Bianca Renee. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching Bianca Renee today.